Hi guys, welcome once again to a Gaz Labs short video now. Um, I've just uh, shot this video once and then realised I'd actually made a mistake. So I'm doing it again. These things happen. Right, um, this is an Anytone uh, AT778 UV. Just double check. Uh, it is an 8778 UV. Now this is the dual band um, miniature mobile radio from Anytone. Um, this is a typically, this is a very reliable little radio. Now this one has come in to us from a customer um, who um, said that it was actually faulty and um, that is actually fairly rare. And uh, I'm gonna show you um what what the uh, the issue was um the nature of the fault was very simply um was uh, it was shorting out when you turn the radio on now he um said that this was um was a was a fault from from the box um but the reality is um it is very unlikely that is the case is chances are he's actually reverse polarity this particular radio so what i'm going to do is um just talk you through the, the first sort of thing that um, normally goes with these radios um if if you've been lucky well number one obviously the first thing that would go on it it would be the fuse now if you're very lucky that's all you've done um secondly and um, the next thing that can go um is a well, there's a there's a range of components that can carry the sort of uh, uh, current that um, that the, this was experiencing sort of uh, post the the uh, let's just say the traumatic event. Obviously, you've got the PA stage here. Um, if that is actually blown, that can actually cause a complete short circuit and will um, will give the same sort of result. Also here, this is um this is a voltage regulator. Um, it's quite um uh, it's a dual uh, voltage regulator, I believe, um, and it has some sensing stuff on it. If this is blown, this can also carry a fair amount of current down to to ground. Um, the other thing is this little bad boy here, which is happened to be the culprit uh, in this case and then this is the protection diode and this is uh, typically a sort of um, I think they call them small fuse um, and it's a T TVS um, uh, uh, diode um, and what this is designed to do um, is essentially um, basically blow a fuse if you put it around the wrong way now I can actually see with the naked eye that there is actually some damage here it's actually split very very if you look really carefully in there there is actually a split no it's very difficult for me to show you that it's just slightly deformed this is definitely um, blown now the trouble is you can't really test this actually in circuit so let me uh, let me dig into this just a little bit um, what I've done here is on the back of this uh, connector here um, I've removed the two screws, okay, and then that renders this whole thing here just sort of like hanging on by these um, this connectors and you know this uh, piece of wire and um, the uh, the earth connection. Now, what you need to do is um, basically what what I did is I used a solder sucker just to remove keep removing solder until eventually this just dropped out. Um, my advice to you is really not to force any of this stuff. You can pull the track off of the, the main board. So what you need to do then is if once this is all out and you've got all the screws loosened, and bear in mind there is some horrible gunk underneath this, is turn this board over. Okay, and you'll see, if we get that there, um, you'll see just, where is it? It's around here somewhere, here. That is where this chip was. Okay, and it doesn't really matter about the direction at this stage. I'm not soldering it back in. And it fits. It fits just in there. Let's get rid of that. Um, just fits just there. Now, what I did was to, to check this, I lifted one leg off 
so it was just sticking up um, slightly um, like a little wheelie um, and then you can actually then just check the circuit to see whether or not the short goes away and it did um, hopefully um, this does actually boot up um, now um, I have checked to see um, whether or not it's okay um, and it does now boot up so I think um, it's a, a lucky save for the radio so what I'll do is you know I'll get the the new part and um, this radio will be up and running again so um, yeah it'll go back into service in one way or another so all good so but um, as I say you saw me just uh, take this front panel off as well um, this just needs very for some unknown reason it won't once you've undone all the screws it doesn't want to lever off that way it wants to come off sort of from the top and straight off um, it just needs very gentle just lifting with a screwdriver off of these edges and then it will actually just pop off and the reverse is actually very easy it just snaps back on like so and you can see these like little keys that just drop into that um, obviously reassembly is a complete opposite of uh, how it all came apart um, great care again should be taken you know obviously make sure that all the solder points in and all the right screws go in and make sure you put all the sort of uh, the uh, the gunge back in there as well from behind these so clean it off put a proper amount of gunge on and um, and, and seal it all up um, do be warned if you've got old gunge kicking around some of this can be quite toxic um, so you know again great care and all that sort of stuff gloves if necessary um what else um yeah there's just a little ribbon cable in there this ribbon cable simply it pushes inside that little thing and in this particular case there's no lever this is just a simple you just pull it just put your nail in there and just pull it that way or you can grab either side of it and just pull Okay, that's a very easy one this one just to get off um, obviously assembly and stuff is in reverse order um, yeah so there you go now I'm just going to tuck that back in there actually I might I've got a little bag to put that in um, yeah I might put that in a little baggie and just drop that back inside and um, I'll get another one ordered right well that'll do I think for now um, thanks for watching um, as I say, this has been a very quick um, video, um, just to sort of show you it, uh, what, what I actually did and what was wrong. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time.